let's now look at full outer join and as you can see in this particular type of join what we get in the output is matches for all rows from both the tables and the way this works is uh, as shown in the uh, table below so let's look at it what we have are two tables a and b and to join the tables we need to specify from a full outer join b and then here we specify the condition on a dot w is equal to b dot y so that is uh, the columns on which this is joined is the column w from the table a and the column y from the table b now in earlier we have seen that in inner join only the ids that matched would appear in the output column for example in this case this one one does not match so it would not appear four does not match because it's not in column w and so therefore that would not be in the output column however these two and three these uh, ids would appear in the output column later on in the cross join that we saw what uh, in that case the joins did not really matter in the sense that each row was matched with each row from the other table and so that was another type of join where even if there was a mismatch between the ids uh, from the, uh, the even if there was a mismatch it didn't matter and actually there was no id there were no ids required to perform the match in that case and so each row was matched with each other row however in full outer join the concept is similar to cross join except that we are looking for a match between the two columns rather than just stacking each column next to other uh, and rather than stacking each row from one table with each row from another table so for example here we have uh, we are performing a join on the column w with the column y and we can see that if there is a match for example in this case the number two does appear in this particular column y and therefore this would match with this row and in the output therefore what we have is this row where we have the 2b part from the table a that is right here and then we have the 2k part from the table b that is right here in case if the id from the tables do not match let's say uh, in case of one the one does not appear in anywhere in this entire column of y this particular row would appear still appear in the output with a caveat that the values for y and z would be set to null because uh, that particular id does not exist in table b additionally if we look at the uh, id 3 this particular id it repeats first of all it is a duplicate we it does repeat uh, two times and it does match with the threes that is in the column y and so what will happen is each of these three c's would match with both of these threes and we'll see them in the output so for example this three would match this 3c would match this 3c this 3c would also match this 3n so what we would have is 3c 3m in the output which is this one then we would have 3c 3n in the output which is this one likewise for the second uh, set of c that we have let me move this slightly up i think this got shifted at the same time if we look at 3d this 3d would also match with this particular 3m this 3d would also match with 3n and then 
what would we have in the output is uh, 3d 3m that would be this record and then we would also have 3d 3n that would be this record right here so that's how these uh, this join would proceed moreover we do also care about the uh, ids that may not be in the column a but are in that may not be in table a in column w but would be in column y in table b and that it would be that is the case with this uh, four so this four does not appear anywhere in the column w still it would appear in the output like so where 4p is there in the columns y and z respectively however the values in the column y so values in the column w and x for this particular id of 4 uh, would remain as null because 4 does not exist in w apart from the way the condition is specified here where a dot w is equal to b dot y Additionally, there is another way we can perform the same out full outer join by specifying using and that is possible if the column names are the same. So let's take a look at that example. What we have here is a setup where we are saying a full outer join B using X and that is possible because the columns on which we are performing the join has the same column name x in both the tables table a as well as table b so the join would proceed as we discussed earlier the a does not appear anywhere uh, one does not appear anywhere in this particular column x uh, so this would not match still it would appear in the output because it's a full outer join uh, with the only caveat that this value for z would be set to null and then the rest of the uh, matches would proceed as we discussed this two would match with this two and so we could get 2b 2k in the output and then the 3c would match with 3m as well as 3n and so in the output we would get 3c 3 3 c m and we would get 3 c n right here and in case of 3 d uh, the same uh, same way this would work we have this would match with 3 m this would also match with 3 n and in the output again we have the d 3 d m and then we also have the 3 d n in the output and finally the 4 that we have uh, which is right here doesn't match anywhere in the column x of table a it would appear as is right here we have the 4 for x and then the value for y would be uh, so so the value for z would be p and then the value for y would be null because it does not exist 4 does not exist in uh, the table a in column x so now let's look at how we can write a query around this and the setup is similar uh, here we have two tables we have the table a which has two columns w and x and we have these values and then we have a table b with again two columns y and z and with these values now we can take a look at the tables themselves uh, let's look at table a and as we have seen earlier the table has these two columns w x one two three three a b c d and likewise we can look at table b and table b again has uh, two columns y and z and we have these values in them let's now comment these out and after we comment out what we can do is uh, write the line of code for performing the join and that is right here so if we can we can go ahead and delete this and comment this out so now what we have is a, a query written to perform a full outer join between a and b on column w and y 
So here we specify that from A full outer join B on and these are the joining joining condition and the columns we are joining on is the column A from table A and column Y from table B. So let's run this query and in the output as we saw earlier from the docs we should get from the records as we see we have all the records from the table A and B in the output uh, with uh, with a note that if there are mismatches in that case null would be found for example the value of 1 from column W does not exist in the column Y from table B and therefore we have a null and therefore all other columns in table B would also have a corresponding null value and likewise for 4. Uh, at the same time, we also looked at a uh, case where if we have the same column name, so let's say we have two tables now where there is a column W that exists in both the tables. In that case, we could rewrite this particular line. Instead of saying full outer join on X and Y, uh, here we could simply say using so here we could say using using w and what uh, the reason why this would work now is because we have renamed that column y to w and uh, we should get the same output as we did before uh, with the, this change in the query that we have written so let's take a look at this and we have the same output where we have all the records from column A and column B uh, in the table, output table. So that was it for full outer join. If you have any comments or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section below. I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.